Hi everyone and welcome to early morning prayer requests and devotions. I hope everybody's okay this morning. On our prayer request, Lorena needs prayer for her and her family and her brother Jerry. They had to operate on his lungs. He's had COVID three times and has been in the hospital for a month. Miss Southern Bell asked us to pray for people grieving over their loved ones. Pray for Leela. She hasn't been feeling well and she's had shingles. Bente asked for prayers for her and her family. Right, back a little. Sorry about that. Trying to get a little more light in there. Okay, Carlton uh, passed away. He isn't suffering anymore. Pray for his, fam uh, his family for comfort. Uh, Robin Dismute needs prayers for stomach pain. Pray for the Ackers. Their rent is going up $300 a month, so they have to move. Pray they can find something clean they can afford. Lisa needs prayer for health issues she's having. Uh, pray her scans come back negative. And pray for Kimberly's mother. She broke her hip. Also pray for her husband and the family. He's diabetic and can't be left alone. All right. Our scripture of the day comes from 1 Thessalonians 5, 12 through 24. Now we ask you, brothers and sisters, to acknowledge those who work hard among you, who care for you and the Lord and who admonish you. Hold them in the highest regard and love because of their work. Live in peace with each other, and we urge you, brothers and sisters, warn those who are idle and disruptive, encourage the disheartened, help the weak, be patient with everyone. Make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong, but always strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. <clears throat> Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit, do not treat prophecies with contempt, but test them all. Hold on to what is good, reject every kind of evil. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. <clears throat> a frog in my throat. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled Leaning into God. Harriet Tubman couldn't read or write. As an adolescent, she suffered a head injury at the hands of a cruel slave master. That injury caused her to have seizures and lapses of consciousness for the rest of her life. But once she escaped slavery, God used her to rescue as many as 300 others. Nicknamed Moses by those she freed, Harriet bravely made 19 trips back to the pre-Civil War South to rescue others. She continued even there was a pro when there was a price on her head and her life was in constant danger. A devoted believer in Jesus, she carried a hymnal and a Bible on every trip and had others read her verses, which she committed to memory and quoted often. I prayed all the time, she said, about my work everywhere. About my work everywhere, I was always talking to the Lord. She also gave God credit for the smallest successes. Her life was a powerful expression of the Apostle Paul's instruction to the earliest Christians. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. When we lean into God in the moment we live and live dependently in prayer, praising him despite our difficulties, he gives us the strength to accomplish even the most challenging tasks. Our Savior is greater than anything we face, and he will lead us as we look to him. How does spending time in God's presence make you stronger? In what ways will you lean into him today? Loving and almighty God, please help me to live every moment with you today and to receive the strength you alone can give. 
And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anyone out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great morning and I will see you later on on Morning Coffee Break. Bye everyone and God bless.